Hello everyone, in this video we will explore powerful concept of VDOM. VDOM stands for Virtual Domain, a game-changing feature that enhances network security and streamline management. This feature allows you to create multiple virtual firewalls within a single FortiGate device, providing isolated and customizable security environments for different departments or customers. And today we will add this concept to the mix of our lab. As you can see, I have started with adding some aesthetics, so everything is more appealing and intuitive. For the sake of demonstrating this concept, I'm going to borrow one computer which was previously used as our web server. Although I have another virtual machine ready to use, I just wanted to make a point that using more and more resources of your machine may have its limits. You may not or you may be far away from it, but I just wanted to seed awareness, keep it under control. Ok, now as usual I'm going to configure FortiGate via Linux machine. We are going to start with CLI which is required as a first step of configuring VDOMs. To enable VDOM type in command config system global set VDOM multi VDOM then end. Warning message that you are going to be locked out will appear but that's ok. Press Y. As a result of applying commands, new drop-down list in the top right corner will appear. And we are ready to start creating VDOM. Click on System, then VDOM. Then create new. You can pick suitable name, I'm going to name it PCMD. For now we are not going to be using Wi-Fi equipment, so it does not really matter what you are going to pick there. And I have randomly picked India. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You are too much raining. <laughs> Once VDOM is created, your next step should lead to account creation and make administrator account. Click on administrators, create new and configure following. I would recommend to make name obvious, so you can recognize this is an VDOM administrator. Type in password of your choice. And as administrator profile choose Proof Admin. And in Virtual Domains field remove root and add VCMD VDOM. Our third step would be a reserve interface for VDOM, which in our case will be interface 8. Since we are in HA cluster and we have picked this interface as monitored interface, we need to remove this reference before we proceed forward with this step. Be aware that this is just temporary removal and later I will be adding it back. Now we can return to interfaces and keep configuring our port 8. On the top of port configuration you may have noticed that new field appeared virtual domain. All you need to do is pick freshly created VDOM from drop-down list. In IP addressing field I have decided go for a 172.16.13.1 IP address. Along with administrative access I am also going to configure the ICP server and defaults are going to be completely fine. Fourth step, go to the top right corner and click drop down list VDOM and select freshly created VDOM. 
then navigate to System, Feature, Visibility, and enable DNS database. Under the network, new submenu will appear. Click on DNS servers and create new in DNS service on interface. With this setting, we don't will be able to share global DNS configuration. Fifth step, return back to global VDOM and we will be configuring inter -VDOM link, which is almost the same as connecting two networks together, except this is happening on virtual level. You can imagine like plugin in cable from one VDOM to another. Currently and by default root VDOM is responsible for forwarding traffic and VCMD VDOM will be using it to get out. I am going to name this link VCMD to CMD. On this imaginary port I will select root and since this is going to be point-to-point -point link, not a shared network, it is going to have own subnet with slash 30 subnet mask, which is perfect for this scenario. And on other side of this link is going to be VCMD. IP is going to be second available IP address in this subnet and with that this part of configuration is done. Now let me quickly demonstrate how does it look like. And from here let's proceed to 6th step of VDOM configuration, navigate to VCMD VDOM. We are going to configure routing, because this domain is no exception from other networks when it comes to communication with outside world. For that purpose, default route is going to be configured pointing to gateway 172.16.14.1 and using InterVDOM interface VCMD to CMD1. Similar configuration has to be done on root VDOM, teaching this VDOM how to reach VCMD VDOM. For that purpose, static route is going to be created, which is essentially the link for network 172.16.13.0 use gateway 172.16.14.2 via this interface. Seventh and last important step in VTOM configuration is to create policies which will allow traffic to pass depending on the requirements. Meaning, do you wish to allow inter -VDOM communication or just allow VCMD to go out? In our lab, we are just going to allow VCMD to go out. Incoming interface is going to be VCMD to CMD0 outgoing port 1. At this point you can be specific on the source, but I'm just going to select all and pretty much allowing everything else. And in this case keep not enabled. And similar configuration has to be done on VCMD VDOM as well. Incoming interface in this case is going to be port 8 and outgoing is going to be PCMD to CMD1.
With this policy, traffic originating from VCMD VDOM is allowed to traverse towards InterVDOM link. With that, VDOM configuration is over, but there is small detail left to do and that is adding Interface 8 back to HA monitored interfaces. There is only one thing left to do and that is verify if everything is working as it should and I am going to perform that from this PC. IP address is successfully assigned from the HCP server. Outside reachability is working either. And no issues with the DNS as well. In case you are low on resources, in GNS3 you can place something like VPCS on Workbench, which is console-like environment, easy on your real PC and enough for testing. You can simply configure it by following me. That would be all for this video and see you next time.